contrary to popular belief? Not all breast cancers are the same. Understanding the type of tumor you have will help you and your doctor decide how to treat it. Testing your tumor is a little like testing the plants in your garden. When you know the type of problem you're working with, you can create the best environment to help keep your plants and flowers healthy all year round. At the lab, your tumor will be tested to see if it has estrogen and progesterone receptors, known as ER and PR. If your tumor tests positive, it's called hormone sensitive. This is the most common type of breast cancer. In fact, in a group of 100 women, about 70 will have a hormone sensitive tumor. The good news is hormone positive tumors are slightly slower growing and easier to treat than hormone negative ones. These tumors respond to changes in your hormone levels and are usually treated with drugs that block estrogen. Sometimes the hormone therapy is used by itself and sometimes in combination with chemotherapy. If you are premenopausal, you will most likely be given tamoxifen, a drug that blocks the tumor from seeing estrogen in the blood. Another option may be to put you into temporary menopause, which also serves to starve the tumor of hormones. When postmenopausal, your hormone therapy may include a drug called an aromatase inhibitor. These drugs block the enzyme aromatase that converts testosterone from your postmenopausal ovaries into estrogen that feeds the tumor. If you are entering menopause naturally or through drugs, an aromatase inhibitor may be an option for you. The drugs are usually taken for many years and continue to reduce risk after you stop taking them. There are several different varieties of these drugs. If one causes you significant side effects, talk to your doctor about changing to another one. Hormone therapy will reduce your risk of recurrence. Stopping treatment early may not provide you with the full benefit. You can also reduce your risk by exercising, maintaining a healthy diet, and losing weight. These lifestyle choices can help create the type of environment that will make it more difficult for cancer cells to grow. They will also help reduce your risk of other kinds of health problems. And that's a win-win all around. Our mission at the Dr. Susan Love Research Foundation is a future without breast cancer, and we do this through innovative research into the cause and prevention of the disease. You can join us at drsusanloveresearch.org to participate in our research or to help fund our research, because together, and it's going to take all of us, we can be the generation that ends breast cancer.